Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. And today for this video, I'm going to be unboxing this super cool new flash from Godox. And it's Godox AD300 Pro, a battery powered strobe, which is really nice because I intended, I intend, I intend to use this outdoors, like for some portraits and for some, I don't know, automotive photography, which uh, should be really fun. So without further ado, let's dig inside. So, what we have here, a bunch of paperwork, not interesting, and we have a really, um, really good quality case. So if you want to travel, if you want to travel with it, uh, that's really awesome that they included this case. Oh, and a bunch of goodies. So um, let's start from the main event. So this is our flash. And you know what? I think it actually um, is kind of the size of a 70 to 200 lens from Sony. Um, so I have here my 70 to 200, and let's just make a visual comparison. I think lengthwise they are almost identical. And uh, yes, the strobe is a little bit more thick, but I think it will be it will fit perfectly in uh, any like travel backpack for like photographer, any photography bag. Uh, so that's our strobe, that's our charging station kind of thing. Uh, so that's our cable, silk gel, and this is, this is the thing that like the attachment, um, the attachment that attaches to a stand and has a uh, like a hole for an umbrella. So this is the hole. Um, you can see, I think, uh, the hole for an umbrella at the top. And uh, I think it should be really um, handy to hold it like this. So we'll see. And this is our battery. This battery, I think, is backwards compatible with AD200 Pro. So um, I think it will be uh, it will be able to give us the same almost the same amount of full power flashes um, from this battery, but we'll see. And uh, yes, the case is really uh, it's really good. And we have here a zipper. We can store a cable, some maybe uh, lens filters, maybe. So yeah, a good case. But let's get back to the main event. So this is the cap. And by the way, uh, many people on the internet actually do not uh, remove this cap when they're shooting. Uh, they think that uh, this uh, little hole will be able to narrow the beam of light and will be able to like uh, serve as a snoot. So don't make, uh, don't make uh, this mistake. Uh, always remove this cap because it will melt. Um, well, it's not actually gonna melt, but uh, it's not supposed to be used as a light modifier. So yes. So, foamy thing and let's remove this mount this is a godox mount and yes uh this is the godox mount uh the godox mount is a really way more compact and way more like uh narrow um in comparison to the bowens mount uh which like everyone uses now um but yeah, I don't intend to, to use this flash with some kind of uh, softbox or some kind of, I don't know, beauty dish. Uh, I want to use this bare, <clears throat> bare bulb and maybe like with this attached. So this thing will help um, narrow beam just a little bit. And that's it, what I need actually from this flash. And maybe I will actually use this uh, thing for an umbrella because when I'm shooting portraits, I like to use an umbrella. So that's a perfect flash for me. And what we have here, so this is a bulb covered with some glass like cover, or it's plastic, no, it's glass. And it has some like frosted effect on top to, <clears throat> to maybe diffuse light a little bit. So yeah, this is a Godox mount. Yeah, it looks really good. It really will 100% will fit in my backpack, so with it, which is really nice. Now, let's install the battery and try this and turn this on. 
I'm gonna be using uh, today and uh, well not only today but always I'm gonna be using this Godox uh, transmitter X2TS for Sony which will enable me to shoot uh, TTL and HSS high-speed sync and uh, let's see whether or not they work together and I hope that they do and I think they do so let's just press this button and hold it and it's on and I think it's ready to pop at 1 8th power. So now it's in manual mode. It has a group A selected and channel 1 selected. So my transmitter also has channel 1 group A. And yes, they I think they are connected. Let's just uh, group A, manual adjustment. And yes, it does change. So that's full power. Let's go to maybe 16 power. Uh, Yes, yes, my transmitter actually changes the power, the flash power. Let's try and um, enable and turn on the modeling lamp from my transmitter. Oh, yes, it works. So uh, I want to mention a couple of things about the modeling light of this flash. So this is um, uh, this flash is not supposed to be well. It's not actually supposed to be used for video. Um, because, well, it's a strobe, uh, it's, it's not supposed to be used as a video light, but you can use it as a video light in like a, in, in a pinch, because this light is really good, it's really good quality, it's CRI like 69 and plus, um, but it has uh, just as the fan right here, it's really, it's audible. It's not loud, but it's audible, so take a listen. I think if we push the power of this modeling lamp to the full power, I think it's now at maybe half power. Uh, so you will uh, you will be able to hear this fan and maybe, well, it's really not a video light. Well, there you go. Uh, and let's just turn this off. Yes. And let's make a test pop. And it's already recycled at 1 16th power. Maybe, you know what, let's crank it up to a full power and let's see how fast it can recycle. So that's uh, the half power. Mm, I think it's kind of maybe less than a second. And now let's go to full power. Full power set. It's ready. Yeah, I think it's kind of maybe uh, between one and two seconds, uh, maybe 1.5, 1.8 seconds, which is f totally fine for me. I'm not gonna be using like it for shooting like sports with flash or something. Um, I think it's not really uh, all that bad. Another question about this flash that I've seen people have on the internet, it's whether or not this flash does or does not have optical slave. And yes, uh, it has this like red little window. So if you have some kind of infrared uh, trigger, it can trigger this flash. But unfortunately, I haven't found any uh, kind of jack attachment uh, on this lens. So if you can, ha uh, if you have uh, any sort of trigger that is not a native Godox trigger, some maybe a pocket wizard, uh, you won't be able to connect it to this flash. Um, unless I am forgetting something, but no, I don't uh, think I see any kind of jack attachment here. So let's, I'm, good, I'm just gonna attach this handle and let's see how does it look. And well, I think, yeah, it's really good for like running gun thing. Um, you can hold it like a gun and like point at something. Um, so yeah, I think that's actually it about this flash. So this is my uh, first impressions. I can't go like too in depth about this flash. Uh, I don't know too much about it yet. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna shoot more videos with time uh, when I have more info about this flash. But if you have any initial questions about this flash, please do leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. 
and otherwise um, thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video